Hey guys, poor all here, and today I'm finally going to be talking about the loot that I got from 1500 runs in Alderman. I ran Alderman 1500 times back in Legion in the hopes of getting one of seven super rares, which I sadly did not, but I will return to Alderman soon to try again. But without further ado, let's talk about the loot that I got. Okay, so in 1500 runs, I got 315 rares, which means I was getting a rare about every five runs. Here's a list of all the rares that I got. In my 1500 runs, I got 56 different rares. As you can see, I got Excavator's Brand and Beacon of Hope the most at 25 times each, which means when I got a rare, about 25% of the time it was an Excavator's Brand or a Beacon of Hope. In my 1500 runs, I got 5 epics, 2 Fiery War Axes, worth 20,000 gold each, and 2 Staff of Jordan, worth 3,600 gold each, and Gloves of Holy Might, worth 14,000 gold. I also got 9 items that I thought deserved an honorable mention, which were 4 Elixir of Dream Vision recipes, 3 Star Belt Patterns, 2 Star Belt Patterns, worth 362,000 gold each, Steel Weapon Chain Plans, worth 46,000 gold, and an Enchant Shield for Lesser Parry Formula, worth 480,000 gold. Here's a list of the top 10 most valuable items that I got based off current auction house value. On average, I was getting 7 to 8 greens per run. Multiply this by 1500 and that means I got between 10,500 to 12,000 greens. My plan was to disenchant all of the greens that weren't worth listing, but on top of all the Alderman runs that I did, I also ran every classic dungeon 50 times, which means I just had way too much stuff to disenchant. So after disenchanting like a thousand things, I decided either to vendor everything, or just let it expire in the mailbox. Now I'm sure a lot of you want to know how much gold I've made from this experience, and while I don't know the exact amount, I would say I've made between 4 and 4.5 four and million gold. This means each run is valued at between 2,667 gold to 3,000 gold, which is pretty good. Last expansion when I was running Alderman, I was completing the dungeon in 4 minutes and 30 seconds on average. Multiply these numbers by 1500, and that means my total farming time was about 112 hours and 30 minutes. Since Bear Tartar has been nerfed, I haven't ran Alderman much, but you can find my old route in the description below, and expect my newer route within the next week. Since Battle for Azeroth came out, I've been looking for new ways to speedrun dungeons, and I think I may have found a way that I'm happy with that I'll be sharing with you guys as my character develops. But if you would like to see me work on gearing up and getting this character ready for dungeons, you can always visit me on stream or hop in my discord and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you guys may have. Now the real question is, is Alderman worth running? I would say if you're looking to make gold, then no, Alderman is probably not worth running unless you get really lucky with the super rare item early on. For higher consistent gold value per hour, I would recommend running something like Razor Fen Downs, Zulfarak, Black Fathom Deeps, or honestly, just visit every classic dungeon like I did and hope for the best. Alderman can be quite the gamble when going for super rares, but if you do end up getting one, it's something that'll either make you rich when you sell it, or turn heads when you equip it. I'll be talking more on the history of the 7 super rares, and why they're so desired in an upcoming video, so be sure to watch for that if you don't know why people like me run Alderman hundreds of times. Now that Battle for Azeroth has been out for a while, I will be back speedrunning dungeons soon. And like I mentioned earlier, you can see my new speedrun character being worked on live on stream at twitch.tv slash so be sure to stop on by if you have any questions. I linked a few Alderman videos in the description below that will show my route and maybe give you guys some motivation to start running Alderman yourselves. If you guys have ran Alderman, or plan to in the future, please let me know what sort of valuable loot that you get in the comment section below or post it in my Discord which you can find down below as well. Thank you for watching, and good luck farming everyone.